to lead you for the next 15 minutes through some beginner yoga poses, as well as some breathing techniques for professionals who um, travel often and who are seated a lot. Um, so we'll get into the shoulders, the hips, and also practice some breath work and meditation. So let's go ahead and get started on our back. You'll find um, any position that feels good in your body on your backs, either a corpse pose, so a traditional Shavasana with legs splayed out wide and hands um, out wide as well. Or if you want to give the low back some more support, stamp your feet as wide as the mat and let your knees knock in. And finally, if you want to passively get into your hips, Bring your soles of your feet to touch, knees drape open wide. We'll take these first few moments um, to settle in. If it feels okay, close the eyes or soften the gaze over the tip of your nose. I'll invite you to bring one hand to your heart and one to your belly, allowing yourself to feel the rise and fall of your chest with each inhale. in each full exhale. Take about three more rounds of breath, breathing in through the nose. Maybe you hold the breath at the top and slowly exhale out. Two more. your last cycle of breath. Slowly start to gather your knees towards your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins and notice if your low back is pressing into the ground, you might rock from side to side or stay in stillness, feeling your low back being supported by the ground. Take your arms out to a T, or you can goal post them with 90 degree bends in your elbows. And take your legs to the left. Just a gentle spinal twist in your gaze to the right. You'll come back through to center. And take your legs over to the right, and gaze over your left shoulder. Come back through to center. Catch behind the thighs. And then slowly start to come up to your seated position at the top of your mat, sitting up tall. Let your shoulders soften down the back. We'll start with um, just a little bit of shoulder opening. Um, so coming through into eagle arms, you'll slide your right arm underneath the left and you'll clasp hands. So this might be a lot um, on the shoulders. So you can also grab opposite shoulders as well. Slowly start to bring the elbows if you can in line um, with the chest and take three deep breaths in three full breaths out. Inhaling, you'll feel a stretch across your upper back. A full breath out, last cycle of breath. And then we slowly start to release. Give your shoulders a shrug, maybe the neck and head a roll. And then take your left arm underneath, slide it under, and you'll grab either um, opposite palms, or you can also grab opposite shoulders. Raise the elbows wherever you are towards um, the top of the shoulders. And you'll feel that stretch across the upper back, maybe on top of the shoulders, and stay here for three inhales. And three exhales. Two more breaths. See if you can find a little bit more um, softness in between the shoulder blades. 
then you'll slowly start to release. Give your neck and your shoulders some release and then bring your arms into goal posts, 90 degree bends. Slowly start to pull the shoulder blades together, squeezing them. Imagine like you have a pencil in between your shoulder blades and then slowly start to close them, bring the hands together. Two more times, just like that, inhale, open. And exhale, close. Inhale, open. And exhale, close. Last time, inhale, open. And exhale, close. Beautiful. Coming into some twists. Okay, so this will help get into our low backs, um, which can help when we're sitting a lot. Um, shoulder stuff also helps if we're hunching our shoulders over a lot when we're sitting down. So you'll sit up tall, reach your arms up and overhead. On the exhale, take a twist to the right. Sit up tall on the inhale. And exhale, find that twist. Come back through to center, inhale, reach up. And exhale, twist to your left. Crown of head lengthens on the inhale. Exhale, gaze behind your left shoulder. One more time on each side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to the right. Come back up through to center. And we'll twist to the left. Come back through to center. And then interlace the fingers at the back. Punch knuckles down, deep breath in. Then exhale, squeeze the shoulders together. Tuck the chin ever so slightly towards the chest. Slowly release the grip, then we'll roll over into our tabletop position. Shoulders stack over the wrists, and our knees stack underneath our hips. Gaze is forward, so we find like this neutral tabletop position. And moving through a couple of cat cows, inhale, drop belly, lift gaze. And then round through the spine, chin to chest for your cat. Inhale, drop belly, lift gaze. And round through the spine, chin to chest. Take a couple more rounds on your own. We'll come back to a neutral tabletop position. Slowly start to walk your right foot forward, coming into a low lunge. So if you need some padding underneath your left knee, um, what you can do is either fold your mat over hot dog style, um, long ways, or if you have a towel or a blanket, you can also grab that. Sink down into your left hip, and your right knee is tracking over your right ankle. Inhale, reach the arms up. Steeple grip the fingers, so bring the thumbs and the index fingers to touch and lift up through your rib cage and then slowly take it over to the right. So you're feeling this in your left hip flexor. Breathe deeply into your left side body. And come back through to center. Slowly start to release, hands to frame out the right foot. Take that right knee back. Take one round of cat cow. Come back through to your neutral tabletop position and then slide your left foot forward. Left knee is tracking over your left ankle. Maybe you slide your left foot up and out so your train track's not in a tightrope if you're finding yourself wobbly. Fold your mat over hot dog style underneath your right knee or maybe you grab that blanket or towel if you'd like some padding underneath your right knee. Inhale, reach your arms up, low lunge. Steeple grip the fingers, thumbs and index fingers to touch. Inhale, find length, so lift up tall. Exhale, take it over to the right, side bend to the right. Press your right hip forward, feeling this in your right hip flexor, front of the leg. And then slowly start to come back through to center. Hands will frame out your left foot. Step back to your tabletop position. One round of cat-cow. 
Then we'll slowly press back to a child's pose, knees as wide as the mat, hips towards heels. Take a moment, ground your forehead down. Slowly, start to come onto one side of your hips, swing your legs forward. Bring your legs together and inhale, reach your arms up. Then slowly start to reach for maybe your calves, ankles. You could also grab around the feet, feeling into the hamstrings. If you have um, like a belt or a strap, something that you can loop around your feet, you can also do that as well. Try to keep the chest open and long. You're feeling this in your hamstring, so the backs of the legs. Keep the legs engaged. And then slowly start to release. Bring your soles of your feet to touch, knees drape open wide. And then see if you can bring your heels more towards your inner thighs. Sit up tall, this is a butterfly pose. And then exhale, slowly forward fold. Hands will come to the shoelace sides of the feet. And if your elbows press into the inner thighs, you can use them to open up through the groin and the hips. You're rounding your forehead towards your feet and shoulders are away from the ears. Then you'll slowly start to release Take both legs out in front one more time. You'll cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Flex your right toes. This is um, getting into our outer right glute and hip um, for a hip opener. From here, hands will come to the outsides of the hips and then you'll slowly start to lean forward. Depending on how much you wanna feel the stretch, you might lean forward a little bit more, walking the hands forward or you can walk them back and lift the chest up more. Soften the shoulders down the back wherever you are. And then we slowly start to release. Take the right leg out in front. Maybe you tap the knees. And then slowly cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Flex your left toes. Sit up tall. Inhale. Hands come to the outsides of the hips. And exhale. Start to forward fold. So one side might feel completely different than the other and that's totally okay. Adjust as needed. That's why this is called a practice. Soften the shoulders down the ears. One more cycle of breath. And then you'll slowly start to come back up. Take the legs out straight. Maybe you give the legs a shake. Then we'll come to a seated position. To close out our session, we'll work on uh, some breath work. This is called box breathing. Um, so I'll be leading us through about five cycles of this, um, but this will allow your heart rate to settle, um, get into your parasympathetic nervous system. You can close your eyes or soften the gaze over the tip of your nose. And you'll inhale for three, two, one, and slowly exhale out for three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one, inhale, three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one, last time, inhale, and exhale, 
If you haven't already, maybe you soften the gaze towards the ground or over the tip of your nose. If you'd like, you can take one hand to your heart, one to your belly. We'll close our session with one breath together, inhaling. Open mouth. Thank you all so much for joining me. Once again, my name is Becca. 